in this tutorial we are going to see how to shape the objects and we are going to turn this apple into a square or cubical shape so let's create a new file and the file dimensions is dimensions are 9 by 9 inches that is 2700 pixels square uh, with 300 dpi resolution and let's paste the apple image on this is already clipped with the help of path and now let's create a new layer above and let's make the structure of the cube and to do that take the marquee tool rectangle marquee tool and draw one rectangle shape Go to edit and say stroke of 12 pixels width with black color and there you get a rectangle shape and now say control T on the keyboard hold on control key and give it a perspective enter and now let's make a duplicate layer of this control J to create a duplicate layer this is the duplicate of this rectangle now go to edit say transform and flip horizontal and now match match it uh, with the first rectangle control T again to transform and hold on control key and shape this rectangle now let's take the brush tool with hardness as 100 percent 12 pixels because we used a 12 pixels uh, stroke here now take the first rectangle and again create a duplicate of this control J to create a duplicate layer drag this and match it with the top line of the other rectangle and now let's take the brush tool click on this point hold on shift key and click on the other point and that gives you a cube now select all the three layers and say control E and control T to transform let's match the height of the cube with the apples height enter and now with the eraser tool let's erase out this line now this is not looking so good but this is okay because it's just a, just a structure to help us uh, in order to create the cube and it need not to be 100% uh, accurate and now select the apple layer and go to filter and say liquify and in liquify make sure that you you have checked on the show image show mask and show backdrop so ensure that your show backdrop is checked on and you can say all layers because we just have three layers and uh, opacity you can control which can control the opacity of the guiding structure And now with the forward wrap tool take a huge brush and drag or push the apple to the edges
switch off the show background and you can see the status of your you can see the status of the manipulation Changing my brush size And now let's take the burn tool and with range as mid tones, exposure as 50. Let's burn out this area. Now we'll have to create a shadow for this and to create the shadow hold on control key click on this apple layer and you get a selection above the background layer let's create one new layer and go to select say modify feather and let's use around 12 pixels of uh, feather for the soft edges and fill this uh, selection with black foreground color that is black color all the backspace to fill that color and now select the pointer tool deselect ctrl d and with the arrow keys bring down this black object behind this apple a little bit and now with either the eraser tool or the marquee tool you can select the upper portion and say delete Control uh, sorry delete and then control D to deselect now take the eraser tool With a nice soft brush right click and check the hardness is zero And erase these edges And we have the shadow for the apple <coughs> Now with the arrow tool help of arrow tool you can 
push it at its right place and your shadow is ready and now let's create a duplicate layer of this control J and you have one more apple layer create a layer mask on it and alt backspace to fill up that mask with black color now change the blending mode to multiply and take a brush tool with soft nice brush right click and check the hardness is zero and a big brush and on the left hand side of the apple paint with the white color let's keep our opacity of the brush around 30 to 40 percent Now let's reduce the opacity of this layer and check the effect. Now it will it is, is this is to give a three-dimensional effect to this apple. So we have one dark side over here. If you want you can create one more duplicate layer. Control J again. Control J again. Let's create the mask again fill up that with black color and take the brush tool with the white color this time change the blending mode to screen and with around 20 to 30 percent opacity let's paint on this panel to make it brighter so you can control the opacities now this is a flat apple and this has got some dimension to it and now we can also bring a leaf to decor this apple a bit so I have the ready uh, cut out of a leaf of apple tree of course now let's fit it over here and with the eraser tool a very tiny brush size erase this portion and now let's create a duplicate of this layer again and lock this layer of leaf and fill that with a black color now remove the lock of it and now control T hold out control and bend this leaf a slightly And say enter <coughs> now let's go to filters blur and Gaussian blur we'll blur this for the uh, to make it look like a shadow okay and now control and click on the Apple layer and say Control shift i to inverse the selection and you can simply say delete let's reduce the opacity of this shadow so you have the shadow of the leaf and we are done with the square apple now let's compare this apple with the original apple so go to image 
canvas size and let's change this width to, to around 16 inches let's select this anchor point okay that is this is just to increase the canvas size and now let's bring in the uh, the original apple hope you enjoyed the tutorial see you again in the next video thank you